Good morning and welcome back world. Here we are at the base of the Rocky Mountains. We are going to pack up from the casino we spent the night at here and head into Banff National Park. We're going to stop by Canmore Anytime Fitness, probably our favorite Anytime Fitness on the whole trip. Take advantage of that and then Banff's only about 20 minutes from there so the mountains are calling guys. We are back west checking out the mountains again after this whole RVing across Canada and back adventure. We're getting there. Let's hit the road. Campsite at Tunnel Mountain Trailer Court, not park. We got this little Walmart pack of ribs. We're gonna barbecue up some vegetables, I think, and have a nice little RV cookout and kind of take the first day easy because tomorrow will be the day we actually get down into the Banff Village more. There's a bus that runs from the RV park and kind of the trailer court here down to Banff Town itself, and then we'll take the gondola from there as well. So the parks guy also said they've seen a bear every night sighted in the area, so bear time of the year apparently maybe we'll find one for you and there we are a pretty clean hookup fully set guys okay I'm gonna reattempt whittling I've got one of these old wood blocks here and roughly marked out where I want to start cutting with the use of my handy dandy saw here so let's see what this becomes And this is where we are at for now. I'm calling it break time. A little bit of a sword rounded out. I'm going to go for like a wooden toy sword kind of attempt here. I got a bit of a mess to clean up here too though. Oh boy. We got these ribs at Walmart pre-marinated and they've been cooked a little bit I guess. So we just got to warm them up and give them a good searing and charring it says. So I'm going to get the barbecue fired up here and I've got an assortment of veggies. I'm going to wrap that up in tin foil, cook that as well. And we will have a quick and easy dinner. I love it here. Feels good to be back west. But get the barbecue going and we will catch you guys at dinner time. Bagel and barbecue still on track. Oh, dude, I had a heart attack, guys. I'm cooking the barbecue here and I got some bagels outside because I figured we'd want some kind of toasty dry carb things to go with the vegetables. And oh, there's the culprit back there. I was inside and I keep looking outside because I'm afraid that black bears are abundant right now. So I don't want any bears to come to my barbecue scent. That squirrel was eating my bagel. I chased him away and swatted his tail and he dropped it. So bagel acquired, but that little cheeky guy up there, look at him go. All right, so we've got our delicious dinner that Luke so kindly cooked for us. <laughs> I'm wearing literally probably the warmest thing I own because it's 13 degrees outside. <laughs> Winter is coming. No, don't say that. So we're going to eat this up and then we'll probably end up seeing you tomorrow morning when we are getting ready to go to the gondola. So that'll be really exciting. See you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so we're walking to the bus stop here at our campground because it's time. We're heading to the Banff gondola. We pre-booked our tickets online and you can choose what time you want to go up and what time you want to come down. And they actually have a discount if you go in the evening, so we chose to do that. Hopefully get golden hour up there. Should be a good one. We wanted to do this since we did in Banff last time, but we said we'd save it for the kind of fall time a bit more. We thought it'd be nice, so we're finally doing it. The gondola. <laughs> to the 
gondola here. We booked our gondola for five fifty, and we got here a bit early with the bus, but we're just hanging out at the picnic table, looking at the view, and watching the gondolas going up the mountain. So pretty soon we'll be on one. How beautiful is Banff, eh? Out of that whole journey we took across Canada with you guys, what kind of place compares? Maybe gross more in a little bit with the tablelands and that hike we did up by the fjords, but look at this, guys. This gondola is going to be crazy. Climbing guys to the top of the mountain, Mount Sulphur. We've arrived at the top, guys. Here we are. Let's get out of here. Excellent. All right, so there's a boardwalk on top of the mountain here that takes you to another kind of lookout area that's even higher here. So we're gonna do that before it gets too dark and too cold. We've got our winter wear on. <laughs> Bundled up. It's actually pretty cold up here and I expected that because it's pretty cold down in Banff in the shade. When you're not in the sun, it's pretty cold, but it's freezing up here, so. observation deck on the fourth floor, so let's go. That's one way to do recycling, hey? And that concludes Sulphur Mountain, but that was pretty fun, I'd say, hey? Yeah, it was really cool. Good way to see the valley. You can see Bow River. You can look over basically all of the National Park main area and all Banff, the town itself. So, gondola back down now and check out the magnet we got here, guys. There she is, Banff Gondola. Nice metal quality magnet. Pretty good. Add that to the collection. We now have to catch a bus to downtown Banff and then a bus from there to Tunnel Mountain Village where our RV sat. Okay, we just got off the gondola and that's the bus to downtown. So we gotta catch that before we miss our bus. Farewell, Sulphur Mountain. It's been swell. Ready to get the bus, Alicia? going to be the night here guys at Banff National Park. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like if you did. We appreciate it and we will catch you in the next video when we head to Wait a Bit Creek, the very first spot we camped when we started this whole road trip. Night guys. Catch you next time. Join us next time when we head back to where it all started, Wait a Bit Creek. On the way we check out Castle Mountain and the absolutely stunning Emerald Lake in Yoho National Park.